Okay, um, welcome back. <laughs> this uh, perhaps would be the last example for uh, solving for you know, uh, centroids or center of gravity of plane uh, areas. Okay, so look at the centroid of the shaded area. Mm -hmm. So we have this area. Uh, both the x bar and y bar, the, the coordinates of the centroid of the shaded area. So we have to divide this one into regular shapes. But then you divide it. But then, again, na lang. Triangle. Okay. So area one natin is itong triangle na lang. Ah, so ba't 3 yung nilagay ko? Area 1 ang sinasabi ko. Bakit 3? <laughs> Ayan. And then, area 2 natin yung uh, square. So, area 2 yung square. Area 3 natin yung quarter circle. So, kasi yung area na to is um, isubtract lang natin yung area ng square. And then, yung area ng quarter circle. Or you can actually derive yung formula for yung, wala kasi dun sa table, ano? Hindi ko na ilagay. Pero I think meron yun sa ibang mga books. You can memorize yung uh, area, yung centroid ng area nito. No? Yung ito, hindi siya pa, yung nandun sa table na binigay ko sa module, ay parabolic yun, na Parabolic span. Ito kasi circular arc siya. Okay, circular. So you can uh, have uh, ano, um, you can derive the the centroid of this one. Ito. Spandrel. Pero spandrel to ng arc ng, quart ng circle. So in terms of radius siguro. But kung natin naalala, kung natin alam, we can do this one. So yung uh, square minus quarter circle. Okay? So, we have uh, three areas of concern here. So, again, yung centroid nito, siguro, dito siya. So, yung X bar natin is, ito yung X bar. X bar. Y bar naman, ito. Oops. So that's our y bar. Okay, dito. <clears throat> okay, so solve natin yung x bar and y bar. So again, uh, start natin dun sa x bar. Yung principle of moments. Principle of moments. Yung total area times x bar is equal to yung summation of moments of each individual areas about the reference axis. So, area times y. So, solve natin yung total area. So, the total area is equal to area 1 plus area 2 yung, yung square minus area 3. So, area 1 this is ano, um, triangle. So, 1 half Yung base natin is 120mm. Height is, yung radius nito, is 75mm. Okay. Plus, yung area ng square. So, that is 75mm uh, squared. Na si square naman siya. Or 75 times 75. Pwede rin naman. Minus yung area ng quarter circle. So, pi 75 mm squared over 4 since there is a quarter circle. Okay, so solve for the total uh, area. So, the to total area is 5,707.1. Seven oh seven point one three five. 
square millimeters. Um, <clears throat> let's check. Uh, I-resolve natin. Baka nagkamali tayo. Okay, I think we're good. <clears throat> we are good. So first, uh, we need to solve for x bar. So again, 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 again. <laughs> again. Alam kong again dun sa discussion. So, so uh, area, total area, that's 5,707.135 square millimeters times x bar is equal to so let's start with area 1 okay so area 1 natin ito yung centroid ng area 1 natin c1 centroid ng area 2 centroid ng area 3 and so c1 to y axis okay so c1 to y axis eto ang distance na to if this is the base of the triangle this is b over 3 and itong distance na to dito it is the height of the triangle this is h over 3 and of course kapag square half lang natin ito ang quarter circle naman just like what we have uh, done sa previous video. Ito yung centroid ng quarter circle. This is 4R over 3 pi. 4R over 3 pi. Which means that itong distance na to, this is R minus 4R over 3 pi. Ito rin yung distance na to. This is R minus 4R over 3 pi. Okay? I hope that is clear. So, let's start with C1. I, area 1, this triangle. Area ng triangle. So, 1 half, 120. Iyon ang units. <laughs> then 75. Sa final answer na lang, siguro. Yung units natin. Para hindi masyadong mahaba yung sulat natin. Okay? So, yung moment arm niya. So, this is the area of the triangle. So, C1 to y-axis. So, this is B over 3. That means this is distance is 2 thirds of B. Ano yung B natin? That's 120. So, that is 2 thirds of... Wait, let's put bracket na 120. Okay? 2 thirds of 120. Okay, plus... Yung square, so square, square, square. Uh, 75 squared, yung area ng square natin, times yung distance between C2 and Y axis. Distance niya. So, ito, 75, itong radius, ano? Divided by 2 plus 120. So, 120 mm plus 75 over 2. So, ilan yung 75 over 2? That is 37.5 or, yeah. Okay. And then minus yung quarter circle naman. Okay. Quarter circle. Area ng quarter circle, pi, 75 squared over 4. Now, yung moment arm naman ng quarter circle, centroid ng quarter circle, 2y axis. So that is 120 plus R minus 4R over 3 pi. Okay. So 120, let's bracket na lang ito, plus R which is 75 minus 4R over 3 pi. 4 times 75 over 3 pi. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we have uh, x bar left in the equation unknown. So what is the value of x bar? Right, so the, the answer is x bar is 92.004 millimeters. So pares lang dun sa nakalagay ni answer. Naka May konting discrepancy because of the rounding of uh, values lang naman. Okay? So, this is x bar. 
Okay, next. Uh, y bar naman ang isolve natin. Y, Y, Y bar. Y bar. Y bar. <laughs> so, same principle, of course. So, total area times Y bar is equal to summation of the moments of each area uh, about the uh, x-axis. Uh, A, Y na lang ito. Sorry, ito pa lang kanina. It should be A, X. Ano? Kasi nga. A, X. But A, Y kasi nung layo may, may ilalagay. A, Y kapag Y bar. A, X kapag X bar. <laughs> but the solution is the same. Yung notation lang yung uh, nagkakamali ako minsan. So, okay. So, total area, we have solved this one a while ago. So, that is 5,707.135 times y bar equals summation of, uh, okay. So, let's start with area 1. Area 1 is yung area ng tri tri triangle. That is 1 half base, yung base natin is 120 height natin is 75 millimeters now, uh, times yung moment niya, moment arm niya about the x-axis this time so that is, itong distance na yan which is h over 3, you know so h over 3, the height is 75 uh, so that is you multiply it by 75 over uh, 3 okay Plus, itong square naman, square, that is 75 uh, squared times, ito namang di C2 to x-axis. So, 75 pa rin naman, of course, yung radius. So, 75 over 2, or it's 37.5, ano. Minus, minus, right here, yung ating quarter circle, that is, um, pi r r is 75 squared over 4 8 in quarter circle times its moment arm about x axis ah, sorry ito pala c3 to x axis x axis so that is r minus 4 r over 3 pi okay. r minus 4 r over 3 pi so that is 75 so let's put bracket na lang yan Nakalimutan ko. Minus 4R over 3 pi. So, 475 over 3 pi. Okay? So, you can now solve for uh, Y bar. Alright, so the answer is 23.256 okay. uh, millimeters. Okay, yung answer na nandun sa module natin is 23.3, okay? May counting discrepancy because of rounding of uh, numbers na yan. So, our answer, yung centroid ng ating itong center, coordinates ng centroid natin is, we have yung x bar, 92.004. And yung y bar natin is, um, 23.5 at uh, 256 mm. So, ito yung ating coordinates ng uh, centroid. Okay? So, I, I hope na with those examples, uh, naintindan natin kung paano mag-solve ng centroid. So, pag medyo komplikado yung shape, okay, um, although madali lang naman yung process, ano, yung procedure, Mahaba lang kapag medyo complicated yung uh, shape natin. Alright? So, ngayon lang kadali mag-solve ng centroid. And we need this topic sa next chapter which is uh, moment of inertia. Ayan. Medyo mas uh, mahaba ang solution sir. Mas madugo. Madugo ba? Hindi na masyado. Ano? <laughs> yung pag-solve ng moment of inertia. Because most of the time we're going to solve first for the centroid of the shape and then we're going to solve for the moment of inertia of the uh, 
area or section. Okay? So, dapat na master natin kung paano mag-solve ng centroid or center of gravity. Alright? Okay?